The NES is my favorite system growing up, but then when I discovered the Famicom, well, it's like a whole new library of all these great games that I never had a chance to play when I was growing up. Of course, to play Famicom games, you need some kind of Famicom adapter, and that's why our friends at Muramasa Entertainment came up with this bad boy. And I'm here to tell you, this thing's pretty sweet for several reasons, and I'll show you why right now. Well, how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. I love showing off new technology as well as some retro games and new games alike. So if you dig that kind of stuff, you got to hit subscribe, buddy. When Muramasa was telling me that he was building something like this, I thought it was great because yes, I can play games on my top loader mostly, but if you use the Famicom adapter, it has a little tethering ribbon and it's not optimal right? Something like this is perfect because it's made to fit in your toaster NES. Well, by all means, let's put it to the test. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice is, well, how does it lock down if it's in place? Well, the answer is it doesn't. Think of the Game Genie. The Game Genie never locked down. This one doesn't need to. However, you will have to pull it down or put some weight on it or something like that. Not a lot, but just enough to make it work. Pop in a pretty cool Famicom game here, King Kong 2. That's right. And you would think it would go in like this, like Nintendo games do, but in this case, it's upside down. Here's the other thing, though. The very first time you power it up, you may have to hit the reset button a couple of times. I had to do this on this to let the lockout chip know, hey, this is a legit deal, it's the real deal. Even if it turns on and the screen starts flashing like it's gonna want to play, keep hitting the reset button and it should go away. There you go. I'm gonna put something on here to get my hand out of the way. You know what, that's probably not the best idea in the world, but in this case, it's gonna work. Here we go, look at this, smooth, clean. I'm playing, I'm playing Famicom <laughs> on my toaster model NES. How cool is that? Let's check out some other stuff. I do love me some bootlegs. Will this actually work in this thing? Now for this case, I'll actually weigh something down on the lid itself, so I'm not putting strain on this thing. This bootleg is so cheap, I'll probably break right through it. Well, I'd say that's a success. Pretty cool. And there is one more very, very cool thing about this that I want to show you. This is the selling point. Check this out. Now, for the Famicom Disk System, you no longer need your Famicom. As much as I love Famicom, this system is pretty much a piece of crap, right? So, and all you need is a Famicom Disk System, the RAM adapter, and then a power cord. Now, if this one doesn't come with a power cord, a Model 1 Genesis power cord does get the job done. And I'm actually using one of these guys that I found at CastleManiaGames.com at a convention for like five bucks. So you take your Famicom converter, and you don't put it like this. You have to put it upside down so it fits on like such. Which is kind of nice, too, because with the weight of it, it'll pop in place just fine. With all that taken care of, you hit power on. It's so cool, you can actually play Famicom Disk System games on this. And everyone already sees this game, but did you know they made a Versus Excite Bike? Let's pop this in for a second. Bye-bye. And in case you're wondering, it does play in a top loader as well. And the Famicom Converter should work in every clone system, including this one here, the Classic 2 HD. I haven't tested all of them, but there's no reason why it shouldn't. All in all, seriously, this thing's awesome. I have a sharp twin, but for the convenience of what I have around me, I actually might be using this a whole lot more to be playing my Famicom Disk System games. It's wonderful. I think it's great. This is not an endorsement. I know it sounds like one. But I love stuff like this. When I have the convenience that I can play Famicom games, Famicom Disk System games, with something as convenient as this that works in a top loader or a toaster or a clone system, it's a win for me. No doubt about it. There are so many great games out there that people aren't even talking about. And this is a great way to do it. I love it myself. And if you want to grab yours, link is in the description below. Thank you for watching. And until next time, take care. We'll see ya.